Group. How's it going? We're live on all of our platforms right now. If you guys are new here, my name is Caitlin. I'm the founder of Street Brew Coffee, social enterprise coffee roastery here in Toronto, Canada. Every Monday morning, we go live with our TikTok and our Instagram, and now, for the first time ever, our YouTube community as well. And we just do a live brew, and it's super fun. I love doing it. Good morning, everyone. I see you all popping in. Caitlin is here. Coffee with Morgan is here. Jonathan is here. How's it going, guys? So good to see so many of you guys. Uh, I love doing these live brews and getting to connect. We got some people, some people from Toronto. I love it. Thank you, guys. Thanks for all the love and support. Hello, hello. It's so fun. We're doing our first ever three platform lives. I'm very, very excited about this. Um, today is a holiday here in Canada, so all the Canadians watching, happy Thanksgiving Monday. I hope you guys have had an amazing long weekend. I'm celebrating today. I'm celebrating this afternoon, uh, so we're going to do ham and turkey. We're very excited about that, but happy Thanksgiving Monday, everybody. Hope you guys have had a good weekend. Uh, myself and Street Brew, we're just so thankful for the community that we've created here on the internet, the coffee-loving community. Thank you for all the support, guys. Thank you for supporting us. We're just so, so over overwhelmed with thankfulness for, for all of you guys. So thank you guys for being here. But yeah, we're going to do some lattes this morning. We're going to do one hot, one iced. That's what we're going to be rocking with this morning. If you're watching, I need you to do me two things. Let me know where you're watching from and what coffee you're drinking as you're watching. Because it's always better to watch Street Brew Mondays with actual coffee uh, on hand. Bonus points if you are drinking Street Brew. Uh, if not, link in bio, streetbrew.ca. Go get yourself the goods. Uh, help support your girl. It's super, super appreciated. It's freshly roasted coffee on a weekly basis. So get yourself the goods. But yeah, let me know where you're watching from and what coffee you're drinking. We got some Canadians in the chat. Hamilton, Italy, Ireland. I love it. I love it. Hey, how's it going, everybody? New York City in the house. I met some people from New York City yesterday at our pop-up, which was amazing. Uh, obviously, coming live from the kitchen this morning, so for this morning's brew, we're going to be using the Breville Barista Express. Uh, I know a lot of people have this in their kitchen. Breville makes some excellent home quality espresso machines. I like to think of this as like one of the complete packages for espresso because it does have that built-in grinder, so you get to save a little bit on the budget and room with that built-in grinder. Um, so yeah, that's what we're rocking with this morning. Obviously, it's a little bit of a different workflow than when we're pulling lattes and espressos on the coffee trailer, but this is the home version. So gonna go ahead and dive into this here. How's it going, everybody? On the TikTok side of things, make sure you keep double tapping the screen and sending lots of likes. So appreciate it, guys. Good morning, everybody. Again, let me know where you're watching from and what coffee you're drinking. I'm in Toronto, and I'm just about to brew up our Street Brew Satin Espresso with our Breville Barista uh, here in the kitchen. Love your content. Thank you very much. I so appreciate that, my friends. All right, so we've got our porta filter, hopefully nice and warm up here. Yeah, that's getting nice and warm. It's perfect. Got the beans in the hopper already. I'm gonna run some steam through just to warm up the machine. Got some people from Vancouver Island. What's going on? I will go in and out of frame because we're just in a bit of a tight, uh, confined space here, but I promise you guys I'm still here. Someone's drinking a hot chocolate? Right on, right on. Street Brew looks amazing. You're right, my friend. Street Brew does look amazing, and it also tastes amazing. If you have a Breville, a lot of people do suggest just put your steam one on, purge it a little bit before you pull your shots. Love your content. Thank you, thank you. Someone's drinking a light roast this morning. I love it, I love it. Thoughts on Folgers coffee? It's not my jam. Obviously, as a specialty craft coffee roaster, I want to support um, coffee farmers, make sustainable coffee, and higher quality specialty coffee. We roast all of our coffee in small batches to ensure it's roasted to its fullest flavor potential and to the highest quality we can possibly pump out to you guys. So, uh, Folgers is not exactly the jam, but Street Brew is the jam. Link in bio, streetbrew.ca. Good morning. See some people doing some lattes, French vanilla, French vanilla lattes, Mexico, Ottawa, Calgary, Scotland. What's going on, guys? I love it. I love it. All right, so we got that rocking. So let's dive into latte number one. We're going to do one hot and one ice for this morning. I just kind of take you guys through my espresso morning workflow. Again, happy Thanksgiving to all the Canadians who are in the chat who are just popping in. And if you guys are new around here and you don't know who I am, my name's Caitlin. I'm a coffee roaster from Toronto, Canada, uh, and I run Street Brew Coffee. Any portafilter recommendations? So yeah, I'm using the Breville, which is going to use a 50, 
four millimeter porta filter. Um, the one that I have currently and I'm using is from Normcore, and it's a bottomless porta filter. So you'll see there's a it's, it's bottomless, um, also known as a naked porta filter. This is really good for helping to dial in your espresso and to see if there's any issues uh, during it. You don't have to use that. Normcore makes some good ones. Crema Products has some good ones as well. I uh, absolutely love both of those companies. So check into either of those two. I love bottomless porta filters. They're so fun to watch, especially when you get it right. So uh, I love them. But yeah, let's get into the brew. Uh, if you guys have been to my lives before, you know that I can just talk forever. So uh, let me brew some coffee. What I'm going to do first is actually weigh out my porta filter. That way I can weigh and see and make sure that our dosing is correct on the Breville. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Thank you for the presence over on TikTok. So appreciate that, Thomas. Thank you so much last night uh, for your generosity. I so, so appreciate it, my friends. Four, four, one. I'm gonna use this dosing filter as well. Double, um, always use a double portion size on your rebel. The machine is. Ooh, thank you. Don't do that. I got distracted. Don't do that. Don't let your dose of fall off. Um, but yeah, always use the double setting here on your rebel. Super important. The rebel just runs better on the double filter and double baskets. Beautiful, we had an 18 gram shot. Beautiful, it weighs out perfectly, so I love it. Love your content, thank you so much, guys. Try to keep up with all the questions. Where could you buy the AeroPress espresso accessory? So you're talking about the uh, Prismo attachment, which is right here. Uh, I know Fellow Products has it. Uh, I don't know any other places in person where you can buy it, uh, but this is the Prismo attachment. You attach it to your AeroPress, and you're able to make espresso coffee using your AeroPress. Super handy from fellow products. Uh, you can find it on their website for sure. Beautiful, we got our 18 gram shot here. So let's get this going. I'm gonna use a two in one tamper and distributor. Again, if you are into at home espresso, I can't recommend a, a distributor and a tamp. Well, you definitely need a tamper, but get yourself a distributor. It will change your coffee game for sure. Help you pull better shots. Again, this is my at-home setup, so no judgment here. Using the Breville, a little bit different than the professional setup in the trailer, uh, but we're gonna be rocking it here. Uh, somebody said I'm gangster. I'm doing great, thank you for asking, guys. Doing so, so good. I'll try to speak louder, sorry. Sorry if you're not hearing me. What do you suggest from Starbucks or Dunkin'? Um, when I have gone, I usually just get like an iced coffee or something like that. That's what I would suggest. Not a huge Dunkin' fan. I'm not a huge bubble tea fan either. No, okay, let me move this over here for TikTok. Hopefully you guys can kind of see in the background here. All right, we got one stream activated here, which is good. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty nice shot here. Pressure gauge is right where you want it to be. It's not splurting or going crazy, which I'm very, very happy about. There was no, it didn't go everywhere, which is a huge win when you're using the bottomless pour filter because it has a tendency to just shoot coffee everywhere uh, or just have a bunch of channeling issues when you're doing it as well. You like coffee? Well, you're in the right place, my friend. So there's the outcome of that shot. You see the crema developing right on the top there. It's sticking together pretty nicely. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is holding together very nicely. So I'm pretty happy with the shot. It smells incredible. What's up, Jenna? Good morning. How's it going, everybody? Again, happy Thanksgiving to all the Canadians in the chat. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I'm celebrating later today. But I love Holiday Monday episodes. They're, they're always so fun. Hopefully, you guys are chilling, drinking some good coffee right now as you're watching. Again, let me know where you're watching from and what coffee you're drinking. What is the silicone mat called? This thing? Is it this thing? This is just like a tamping pad. This is my scale. This is from Akaya, Akaya Coffee. I'm pretty sure it's Akaya Coffee. Um, but I don't know which silicone mat you're, you're working uh, mentioning. But this is just a tamping pad. 
Good morning, good morning, good morning. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up with all the questions. What are my thoughts on basic drip machines? As long as you're pairing whatever machine you're using with good quality specialty coffee, you will be able to get decent coffee out of it. Uh, the machine does not matter quite as much as the quality of coffee that you're cranking in it. Um, use good coffee, you will get good coffee, even on like a $20 Mr. Coffee Maker. Just pair it with good quality specialty coffee that's been freshly roasted and is ground to the right setting and you will get good coffee. Uh, what's going on? People from England, people from Canada, good morning, good morning. You just got some Tim Hortons, it's okay, we'll forgive you, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive you, my friend. All right, let's try to froth some milk here. You guys can make fun of my latte right here. It's all cleaned up. Hello from Belgium, what's going on? USA, Iceland, what's up, what's up, Iceland, how's it going? That in there and keep it hot. I am from Toronto, Canada. I am from Toronto, Canada. Good morning from Texas. How's it going? Scotland, the USA, Mexico, people from BC. I love your content. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Got my milk pitcher here. Gonna grab my milk as well. I knew that was gonna happen. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Try to keep up with all the chat here. Got someone from Oakville. What's up, Oakville? Have you come to our pop up, Mr. Oakville? We pop up every Sunday in Oakville uh, at the Meeting House Church. So uh, you should come to our pop up. We had a great one yesterday. Got to meet uh, some people from New York. Somebody from Nova Scotia was in the house. It was awesome. Love getting to meet you guys at pop ups. What's up, everyone? We're just making some lattes this morning. Every Monday morning, we like to go live with our uh, coffee communities on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube now as well. Just brew some coffee, help you guys kickstart your Monday on a positive note. Thanksgiving. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well, guys. Thank you for the follows. If you're not already following over on TikTok or Instagram, make sure you drop a follow. I'd so appreciate that. And on YouTube, make sure you drop a sub as well. Hello from Texas. What's up? What's up? I love it. A nice whirlpool developing here. Hoping, hoping for some good things here. How's it going, everyone? Thank you for the follows. I hope everyone is just having a great Monday so far. We're brewing up some lattes. We're finishing up the hot latte. Pulled a pretty nice shot that I'm pretty happy with. And then I'm gonna do an iced latte as well. The hot one's gonna go to Papa Shuper. The iced one will be for you, girl. Thanksgiving is in for another month and a half. Yeah, in America and Canada, it is very much Thanksgiving weekend. your steam wand after using it so there's no milk uh, stuck in there are you using whole milk i am using 3.5 percent whole milk yes um it's some of the best milk for frothing um so 3.5 percent and that's actually what we use on our trailer so if you come see us you will be getting a latte with 3.5 percent milk unless you explicitly ask for oat milk or almond milk got some people from canada how's it going how's it going uh, love the videos. Thank you very much. Let me know where you're watching from and what coffee you're drinking. Bonus points if you're drinking Street Brew Coffee. Uh, you can find it at the link in my bio, streetbrew.ca. Go get yourself a bag, support your girl, get some really good coffee for yourself. I have used a Twix bar for coffee. My favorite coffee is actually our medium roast from Honduras. Medium roast from Honduras is my favorite uh, coffee. Uh, how do I feel about oat milk? I just don't really drink it, but there's nothing wrong with it. I'm fine with 3.5% whole milk. Is the built-in grinder in the Breville good enough for a V60? Really good question. 
only use this grinder, the built-in grinder, for espresso. It's not going to get the job done for drip or pour over or V60. So only use this built-in grinder for espresso. That's what I, I would say. Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> so it's like, that's not how you do it. Cool. Do your own video and do it how you do it. No art, no art, it's okay. If you come see me on the trailer, you'll get some art. You will definitely get some art. Uh, Cause I can do it there. Apparently I just can't do it at home with the Breville. It's probably just cause my skills are inept, but we'll get there, we'll get there. What are we doing? We just made a latte and now I'm gonna make an iced latte as well for myself. Good morning, good morning, you're very welcome. I love live streaming, I love doing these Mondays for you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Do a protein drink latte. I do want to do one, I've been meaning to do one for a while now. Um, so I will eventually actually get to do one. Got lots of people from Texas. I love it. Again, I do have some more Breville tutorials over on YouTube as well. So if you're looking for some more in-depth kind of Breville stuff, uh, check out the YouTube. Yes, I will be out of frame just a little bit as I get closer to screens and try to answer questions. Uh, we're just dealing with tight, tighter space this morning. Eventually, I am going to bring you guys in and do a fun live on the trailer. I feel like that would be so, so fun. You just made a flash fruit iced coffee with the AeroPress right on. Uh, whose recipe did you use? That's You can make some very, very good flash fruit iced coffee with an AeroPress. I have a couple tutorials on that floating around on the internet. Um, what's going on, everyone? Everyone? Hello from the UK. What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. Happy Thanksgiving Monday to all the Canadians who are in the chat. Can I open a shop in Switzerland? Probably not. Probably not anytime soon. Uh, Switzerland is pretty far away. <laughs> Alright, so hot latte has been made. We're getting ready to make our iced latte now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pull a double 18 gram shot again. Hopefully we get it perfect like last time. It was spot on with the weight. So I'm using the Breville Barista Express for anyone who's joining in right now. The people need a live video from the trailer. I know y'all do, trust me. And I wanna, I wanna give you guys one, trust me. Um, we just, we did a pop up yesterday. So we were not ready to get the trailer up and rocket for a live this morning. But there will be one, I promise. Also, if you want to see the trailer in action, just come to a pop-up, y'all. Just come to a pop-up. Beautiful. Another 18 grams. Spot on. Love that. How's it going, everybody? Can you recommend a cheese to pair with espresso? I, uh, espresso. I don't. I don't. I don't have any coffee recipes with alcohol. I personally just don't drink any alcohol. Can I recommend a porter filter? Yeah. So uh, I'm using the bottomless one from Normcore right now for the Breville. Uh, Normcore has some great ones. Crema Products has some great ones as well. Love that company. I just don't have a porter filter from them. Um, I use their, I have a tamper from them that I do use. So this is a two-in-one distributor and tamper combo. Um, so it's super important. Distribute your coffee so it gets nice and even in your porta filter, and then you gotta tamp it down, get that nice and compact cup, because espresso is actually made through pressure. So you need that pressurized, uh, compact grounds in order to pull your espresso shot. What am I gonna pull this in? Let me grab a glass. One second. There we go. I'm going to pull it in this little tiny shot glass. Our first shot actually worked out pretty well, so we'll see how this shot works out. Come to Vegas. <laughs> I would love to. I would love to.
This one's spraying a little bit more than the last one did. The last one didn't spray at all, which was good. But this one's just spraying a little bit. If you do get a bottomless quarter filter, be prepared for it to um, um, be ruthless with your uh, espresso technique. There's a shot. It's going to start to separate. See that crema forming right at the top there? Uh, how's it going? Let's see Streeper shirts. We actually do have merch. So if you head to the link in my bio, streeper.ca, we do have uh, one t-shirt available right now. We're working on some more merch designs right now as well. But we do have one available. It's a Streeper shot. Um, so go check it out uh, and go purchase it and rep Streeper. Can I make tea? I'm not about tea. I'm about coffee, my friend. I don't know if there's any mods still in the TikTok chat, but uh, if y'all could help me out there, that'd be great. <laughs> so appreciate that. Um, that's the tricky thing about Monday morning lives. There we go. So our shot is kind of settling now. Got that crema right on top of the shot. Just like that. Pump this pump out. I'm going to rinse it out. Sure we get that nice and clean my favorite coffee so i love um on my own i have i'm a coffee roaster from Toronto. uh our street brew medium roast from honduras made with a chemex that is by far my favorite way to brew coffee my friend what's up thomas thomas back in the chat thank you for um the roses what's bad about monday nothing i love mondays that's why we chose monday specifically to do street brew mondays and to do these live streams so we can help kickstart your Mondays on a good on a good note with a hint of positivity. Um, so I love Mondays. I think they're one of the best days of the week and they're super fun because we also do Street Brew Mondays and I know a lot of people that want to tune in every Monday to these, so uh, which I so, so appreciated. I don't ever put vodka in my espresso. I'm gonna get some ice one second again. can't get my ice out ahead of time or it'll melt by the time uh, I actually need it. How long do I blue? On my V60, or sorry, on my camera, I bloom for 30 seconds. I do a 70 gram bloom for 30 seconds. Got some ice cubes in there. I'm going to use some caramel as well. Love your videos. Thank you very much. Thomas, again, thank you for all the presents. Everyone sending love and presents over on TikTok. So appreciate you guys. Love your videos. Thank you, guys. I so appreciate y'all. Thank you, Jessica, for the roses. Thank you for the crane. Cool. i going to add some milk here. Yes, this is an iced latte. I know there's a lot of milk in it, but remember, we're using a double shot of espresso here. 18 grams. Uh, so there's more than enough coffee in there. A gold straw to give that a little mix. Oh, a mix mix. And we have a beautiful caramel iced latte with a little bit of a spill. We'll clean that up. We're live. It's happen. Mistakes happen when you're live. And there we go. We made two lattes today. If you guys have been with us from the very start, we made a hot latte and I just made myself an iced latte that I am going to be enjoying uh, throughout my holiday Monday here. So good, so good. I think vanilla is definitely my favorite, but I'm gonna give caramel another chance around here. Who else in the chat loves iced lattes? Let me know, let me know. Uh, thank you everyone for all the presents over on TikTok. So appreciate y'all. Canadians do it best. We really do, we really do do it best. Milk in a bag, you bet. Canadian represent. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving again to all the Canadians uh, watching. If you're watching this back, this live gets shared or saved and shared over on Instagram so you can watch it over again. If you're watching the replay, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a great Monday, a great Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining us on the replay. I still want to know where you're watching from and what coffee you're drinking, so let me know. Drop it in there for sure. Lattes or cappuccinos, which one do you prefer? Lattes.
it's I'm a latte person. Nothing against cappuccinos, but I don't know. I just really, really, really like lattes, especially iced lattes. So. <clears throat> Uh, we've got some people from Lafayette. What's going on? Ice caps. Ice caps are solid. Ice caps are solid. I have a really good ice cap recipe that I've posted on, I think, every platform now, so definitely go find that for sure. Uh, ice latte with cinnamon. Hmm, I've never had an ice latte with cinnamon. Do you play chess? I don't play chess. I've never played chess. I'm sorry, my friends. Uh, what's up? We've got some people from Scotland. I love it. I love it. It's definitely a place I want to come visit in the near future. What type of latte should you order if you've never had one? Honestly, get yourself an iced latte and ask them for caramel or vanilla in it. Um, it'll have that sweetness to you for it. It'll have that sweetness in it for you. Uh, so you'll you'll be able to enjoy it and it, you'll get a nice shot of coffee in there as well. Thank you for joining me on today's episode of Street Brew Monday, everyone. We're going to sign off uh, at least on the Instagram chat right now because it's getting a little bit long and i don't want it to go too too long for everyone watching on the replay where are we stationed streeper coffee is located in toronto canada toronto canada uh we're going to be doing a couple pop-ups this week friday night here in woodbridge so if you live in woodbridge come on out on friday night we'll be posting details uh probably tomorrow and then we should be popping up in oakville again on sunday um so we'd love to see you at either of those pop-ups if you're local come see the trailer get uh, a really nice latte made by your girl we can take a selfie and just hang out always love meeting you guys uh somebody biked all the way from toronto to oakville yesterday uh met jonathan all the way from nova scotia uh met some folks from new york who were on vacation it's always a fun time and i love getting to meet you guys do you measure your shot at the bottom of the crema? Uh, I don't generally measure the output. Uh, I measure the input. Because on the trailer specifically, we're pulling two shots. We always pull. So we, we, uh, we pull a double shot, but we divide it into two. But thank you guys for joining me on today's episode of Street Brew Monday. Uh, we do ship international. I see someone asking if we ship international. We can ship all across Canada, all across the USA. Just head to streetbrew.ca. Link is in my bios. Uh, the one that I suggest is the Street Brew Medium Roast from Honduras. It's my favorite roast. Um, you're going to get chocolate and caramel flavor notes in there. So look into that one. Streetbrew.ca. Link is in my bios. Uh, it's one of the best ways to support your girl if you like our content like my content on social media, uh, get yourself some coffee. You will not be disappointed. Uh, and it'll take your coffee game to the next level. Even if you don't want to support your girl, find a local independent roaster that lives near you and go support them. It supports a more sustainable, ethical coffee community. Uh, get a support local. So, um, Keep doing you. Thank you. Thank you. I will keep doing me. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Monday. We're going to sign off the live here. Every Monday, we like to go live. Hope you guys uh, enjoy. I'll catch you guys in the next live stream. Peace out. All right. It's, uh, TikTok, we're going to keep it going here for just a little bit longer. And YouTube, I'll keep it going as well just for a little bit longer here. I did put caramel in my latte this morning. Yep, yeah, caramel iced latte. Thank you uh, for all the presents, guys. I so incredibly appreciate that over on TikTok. It seriously means the world. There we go. Jenna's in the chat. Street Brew Dossier. Link in bio. You already know the place to go to get the goods. I like to keep the lives under about half an hour on a Monday morning. Because uh, I know people are tuning in from all walks and areas of life. Some people are at work. Some people, uh, I don't know, maybe you're working out or just chilling, drinking some coffee. So somebody said I look very cute. Well, thank you. Love your videos. Thank you very much. Latte Queen. I will wear that title. Thank you very much. Especially if you come meet us at the trailer uh, using the commercial equipment. You are going to get one bomb tasting latte. So thank you. The, a sweet latte? Just put caramel or vanilla or, or salted caramel in it. Either of those will be nice and sweet for you. Looks delicious. It also tastes delicious. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? As we're getting ready to wind down the live here, nobody said that. Remember, I'm on live on multiple platforms, so. You're so happy that you saw the live? Well, I am so happy that you saw the live and that you're here. If you have any coffee-related questions, now is the time to ask them. I will do my very best to try to get those answered for you um, before we sign off here. It's just after 11 here in Toronto this morning, and I'm enjoying my ice latte. Howdy, howdy, how's it going?
been live for almost half an hour now. You said you can't love my content? Oh, that's sad. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. What are my thoughts on Starbucks and Dunkin'? They're just fast food coffee companies. Um, they serve a purpose, obviously. Not my favorite type of coffee and not ones that I frequent. Uh, find a local independent roaster. Uh, it's, you're gonna get better coffee for sure. Hello, hello everybody. Sending love from the Philippines. What's up, what's up? I love it. Ah, you love my content. Awesome, thank you. I so appreciate you guys, seriously. Thank you so much. If you're not already following on TikTok, make sure you drop a follow, join the community. Uh, and if you're not already subbed on YouTube, make sure you go do that. Uh, we're, we're popping off on YouTube right now. Gonna try to incorporate some more lives and some more content over there for our community there. Do you prefer Dunkin' or Starbucks? Neither. I don't go to either. I make my own, guys. I, I'm a coffee roaster, so I have my own coffee. This is it, right here. Um, and for that reason, I don't have to go to Dunkin', I don't have to go to Starbucks, because I have better coffee. Right here. <laughs> Somebody said I'm epic. Well, thank you. Best content. Thank you very much. Best content creator. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for the presence. How's it going, everybody? I love you guys. Love from the UK. You can't follow on TikTok because you can't find me. It's under cc.campbell. The letter is cc.campbell. Uh, you can find all the coffee content. Uh, have a blessed day. Thank you. You also have a blessed day as well, my friend. Well, guys, I think we're going to sign off here. Thank you for joining me on today's episode of Street Brew Monday. I don't know if I'll have a nighttime live stream going on TikTok. We'll have to see how the rest of the day goes. Again, I'm celebrating Thanksgiving today. Um, but I will have some content out for you guys at some point throughout the day. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we do have popsicles in Canada. You're the best. Thank you. I do like chicken. I very much like chicken. It's my favorite food. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the flip. Find a local coffee roaster. Go support them and drink better coffee. I'll catch you guys in the next live stream. Make sure you drop a follow. I'm going to sign off here. Love you all. Bye.